Did you know that you can solve real-world linear problems by constructing and interpreting graphs? Let's take a look at an example. Brendan got new juggling sticks for his birthday. In week one, he could juggle for three minutes. In week two, he could juggle for 4.5 minutes. Based on this pattern, how long will Brendan be able to juggle in week three? This is the question that we're going to answer. First, let's look at what we know. We know that in week one, Brendan could juggle for three minutes. In week two, he could juggle for 4.5 minutes. Week three is a question mark. That's what we're going to try to figure out. To figure this out, let's use a graph. We're going to graph the information given to us in this real world problem. In order to graph this equation, we're going to need ordered pairs. We can use the week and the time as the two values in the ordered pair. The week can be the x value and the time can be the y. In week one, Brendan juggled for three minutes. In week two, he juggled for 4.5. And week three is a question mark. Now that we have ordered pairs, let's graph it on a coordinate grid. Here's our coordinate grid. Let's graph the first point. In week one, well first, the x-axis is going to be our weeks and the vertical axis, the y, is going to be our time, just like in our ordered pair. Now let's graph. In week one, Brendan juggled for three minutes. In week two, it was 4.5. Now let's draw a line and see if we can figure out the time for week three. Here's the line graphed. Now, let's look a little closer at it. In week one was three minutes. In week two was 4.5 minutes. In week three it's six minutes. Given our pattern, Brendan will juggle for six minutes in week three. This is the answer to our problem. You can see that using a linear graph helped us to solve this problem. We could even take it one step further. Take a look at this. In week four, Brendan would juggle for seven and a half minutes. If you notice, you can look at the pattern and see that this is consistent and it's proven in our graph.